Also, we've had several sightings of the Riddler creeping around the train yard. Knowing that guy, he's got to be up to no good. Look, I know you're busy, but anything you can do to help is going to save lives. Don't worry, Jim. I have someone working a lead on Scarecrow. I'll see what I can do. It's marvelous. I'm rebooting the network now. Forget yes. Scarecrow. It's time to face your one true nemesis, Batman. Oh dear. Is that who I think it is? Nigma. Contact me when you're ready with the bridge. Riddle me this. Why would a Batman visit an abandoned orphanage? Eddie, sweetie, you confuse me with Robin. The big guy and I aren't all that close. Oh, oh, I know! It's because of what will happen to his feline friend if he doesn't get here in time. Shocked, Dark Knight? Stunned? <laughs> you didn't expect this, did you? That is because you are no match for me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and your intellectual superior. Did you think I would just forget our last meeting, Dark Knight? You humiliated me! I know you will not beat me this time. It is utterly impossible. You cannot do it. I have won already! I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloodied corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard's mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies. Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything. I swear. I tied her up and left her inside. Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought her here and planted some of these trophies nearby. That's it. You gotta believe me. I do.
Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? while it lasts, Dark Knight. I have more in store for you than hitting things. No doubt you enjoyed that, Detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight, this feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> well, don't just stand there, Dark Knight. Take that rocket-fueled roadster of yours and make your way to the Cauldron Train Yard. My first test is waiting. I'll come back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Of course I'm staying here. Go get my keys. It's unlike you to get caught. Was it an ambush? Blackmail? A trap? He invited me. What? He said he had a job. A job? Of the cat burgling variety. I'm pretty good at it, remember? Not all of us scamper around on rooftops at night because we want to help people, you big brooding boy scout. Now where's my key? Do you do a lot of work for Riddler? Only when you're not looking. Selina. Someone wants something stolen? I'm the one who steals it. You know how this works. Or did you think you'd reformed me? Yes, Batman, I've noticed the new suit. It's very dashing. Now why don't you go play Eddie's games? Look, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Brooding. Quit looming and start helping. Look, I'm sure standing there like a towering pillar of muscle works on the more impressionable girls. But I'd be much more impressed with some keys. Riddle me this. When does the door lead nowhere at all? When you, when you try to open it too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old oh boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. A challenge in the Cauldron Train Yard. Fine, Nigma. I'll play your games and I'll win. Selena's life depends on it. Ah, 
Squad Detective, you arrived! I thought Catwoman's little predicament might encourage your participation. I realized, you see, that the kind of image-obsessed narcissist who places bat symbols on his hubcaps would never willingly submit himself to the kind of humiliation I have in store. Yet, here you are, Detective. <laughs> the humiliation is waiting below. Detective, it begins. You are staring, <clears throat> with stupefied incomprehension, at a mechanism I have calibrated to respond to an extremely precise radar pulse. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Oh, but first, I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivities. Rule the first. You will address me at all times as Riddler, The Riddler, or Mr. Nigma, Sir. Otherwise, Detective, I expect your patented brand of churlish silence. Rule the second. All gauntlets, cowl-integrated microphones, and other communications devices, bat-themed or otherwise, are to be switched off prior to the start of the test. Should you be caught using any of these, you will be expelled from the course. Spell. Rule the third. The use of purpose-built riddle-solving equipment is strictly prohibited. I am familiar with the contents of your utility belt, Detective, and I will be evaluating any sudden additions over the course of this evening most suspiciously. Rule the fourth. In the event of fire or flood, I will be on hand to guide you to the nearest emergency exit. Assuming, that is, you are not too proud to follow my advice. <laughs> In that eventuality, we will consider your stubbornly prideful suicide an admission of defeat. Rule the fifth. Do not ask for clues. Rule the sixth. Should I, in my exasperation, choose to provide you with a clue, hint, obliquely meaningful insult, or any other form of assistance, you will not ask for further elucidation, but instead thank me for my kind generosity whilst adhering to the forms of address outlined in the very first rule. Rule the seventh. Bathroom breaks will be administered on a discretionary basis. Should we find ourselves at a pivotal moment in your arduous journey to self-realization and defeat, I expect you to hold it in. Rule the eighth. Any accidents resulting from my strict enforcement of the seventh rule are to be considered your fault entirely. Rule the ninth. You are required to recite back to me this full list of rules at any moment I request. Again, keeping in mind the naming conventions I outlined in the very first rule. Rule the ten. I, the Riddler slash Riddler slash Mr. Nigma Sir, reserve the right to add or announce further rules if and when they become necessary. Yes, I know what you're thinking, Detective. Mr. Nigma Sir knows how to meticulously structure a good time. In any case, Detective, I'm getting rather tired of the way your stupidity forces me to outline the basics like this. So here's that code you've been waiting for. Let's see how long it takes for you to figure out how to use it. What? What? How did you... How, how did you... Solve tonight's very first riddle. <laughs> well done. Well done. Welcome to my racetrack, Detective. You must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. 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 Let's put that grotesque ego-mobile to the test. Be ready, Dark Knight. There's more to this test than just going vroom, vroom, really fast. Tick-tock, detective. Tick-tock. Can that ramshackle motor handle this? Faster, Dark Knight, faster! Can those flickering, faltering synapses keep up with my automatically adjusting force? 
disabling the afterburner's failsafe. I need the extra speed. I'm shocked, Dark Knight. Is that really as fast as it goes? Let's work that undeveloped brain of yours. physics prohibit me from testing my non-Euclidean designs. Now then, detective, hop on the pressure pad beside me. Listen carefully, Dark Knight. Your friend's life depends on it. Back in the orphanage, a series of glass cabinets have appeared in front of Catwoman. Isn't that right, my dear? I see them, Eddie. One of those cabinets, my dear, has your first key inside. The others? They contain less useful keys. Keys that will unlock the admittedly slight contents of your skull all over the orphanage walls. Your job, detective, is simple. Figure out which cabinet Catwoman must open. And don't get it wrong. Okay, Batman. Let's see if you're as smart as they say. One down. Well, well done, done to the pair of you. That's the first key collected. Um, don't expect to be sinking your claws into too many more. More, more, too many more. Did you really believe that a challenge designed by me, the Riddler, would be quite so easy? Oh, Dark Knight, you sweet, naive Sentinel, of course it wouldn't! But now I have several hundred terabytes of performance data relating to the latest model of rocket-powered hearse you're driving. With that in mind, I have prepared for you something a little less knuckle-whitening and rather more brow-furrowing in Chinatown. Hurry on over, detective, or it won't be curiosity that kills the cat. Whatever Riddler's built beneath Chinatown, it's not going to stop me. Dark Knight? Eager for more? <laughs> it's humbling, isn't it? The opportunity to even glimpse my greatness, the dawning realization of just how insignificant, how unworthy of note you really are? These trials are my masterpieces, Detective. When I have defeated you, they will become monuments to my genius. Testaments to your stupidity. Crowds of school children will pack themselves in this elevator, eager to see for themselves the place where the Dark Knight was defeated. <sighs> they won't understand a thing, of course, but they'll come. Trials 
so elegantly simple that even you should manage a feeble grasp of the premise. You must provide power to this board, detective. This isn't just a test of intelligence, Dark Knight. It's a test of skill. <laughs> well done, Detective. Your true calling as a third-rate circus stuntman becomes clearer by the day. Congratulations, Dark Knight. You've earned the right to play the next part of the puzzle. Head over to the board. Oh, joy. Time to play the Will My Head Explode game again. Which cabinet, kitty, kitty, kitty cat? Kitty cat. Kitty 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 cat. cat. You better be right, Batman. Head still attached? Great. Collar still attached? Not so great. Congratulations! You've achieved the very minor victory of not being as stupid as you look. Not stupid as you look. Now, Catwoman, celebrate your survival by telling Batman all about the exciting orphanage development. Celebrate the orphanage development. No, you do it. Now, Kitty. Kitty. Why, Batman, there's a big, mysterious green door. Yes, yes, there is. Come back to the orphanage, Batman, and I'll let the pair of you through it. ahead of you, the sheer scale of the gauntlet I have thrown down. Or perhaps not. Perhaps, perhaps you're feeling cocky. Perhaps these early victories have filled you with early false hope. Well then, ride that wave of smug satisfaction all the way back to the orphanage. I'm waiting. Orphanage. Selena's still trapped in the orphanage. Nigma's got something in store for us both when I get there. Welcome back to the Riddletorium. Do not fear. Your friend has not been harmed. Before I allow you to see her, however, riddle me this. Riddle me this. What kind of question can only be asked upon reflection? Reflection. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. No, Dark Knight, you're way off the mark. The mark. Well, well, it seems 
because you have earned the right to see your friend. See your friend. Why, she'll be as surprised as I am that you've made it this far. They made it this far. Oh, good. You're back. Eddie wouldn't show me whatever deranged parlor game he's got waiting behind that door until you arrived. I'll get you out of here. I'm sorry, do I seem testy? It's probably something to do with the gorgeous necklace Eddie picked out for me. Have you seen it? It explodes. Well, are you going into the room or what? Oh, I do hope you two are getting along. You two. Because you'll need to work together if you want to find the key hidden in here. Find, find the key. Well, this looks creepy. Someone's been reading Feng Shui for serial killers. Oh, great. Extra trapped. As if the collar wasn't enough. Oh, Batman, Catwoman. Batman. Neither of you is getting out of there without the other's help. Oh, look. It's more of Eddie's home. Well, there we go. It's set. You're, you're, you're not quite as dumb as each other. Congratulations, Batman. Catwoman, you're lagging behind. You're lagging behind. Oh, Dark Knight. I can barely describe to you what a pleasure it is to see your brow furrow over the simplest of conundrums. I do apologize for not creating a riddle that you can merely pound into submission. Here, why don't you take out your frustrations on my automated assistance? Merely prototypes. So try to mitigate that primal feeling of triumph upon defeating one. It's quite liberating to have freed myself from reliance. Well then, it seems you've earned another key. This is going to take all night, isn't it? At least I got to hit something. How are you holding up? I'm fine. I don't need your concern. Just your help getting this thing off. I wouldn't celebrate just yet, you two. Dark Knight, my next challenge can be found beneath Elliot Memorial Hospital. Conveniently located for when you pass out due to mental exhaustion. Mental, mental, mental exhaustion. You still haven't apologized. For what? For Eddie treating me like a white hat. Like one of your sidekicks. You know, half the crooks in Gotham think I feed you info. You do? Well, yeah, when there's something in it for me. They think I'm doing it on principle. Sorry for making criminals think less of you. Hey, have I ever heard anyone? I'm not one of the bad guys, Batman. I'm freelance. You should pick a side, Selina. Your side should pay better. Look, Batman, I enjoy a smoldering stare as much as the next girl, but maybe you should be working on Eddie's glorified obstacle courses. Nice work so far, big guy. Just don't screw up the next part. Bats? When did Catwoman get so cute? Must have been when I started looking out of your eyes, hmm? You're gonna ask her out or what? 
Oh, you're not still torn up about Talia al Ghul, are you? Come on, it's been months. Even the worms that ate her corpse have probably forgotten about it by now. You're really gonna turn down this fine opportunity for romance just because I blew your last girlfriend's lungs out? <laughs> Take a tip from your wingman, Brucey. The ladies hate it when you brood over the ex you failed to save. Riddler's next trial's in Bristol. He's losing Alfred and that makes him dangerous. Perhaps the real challenge is tolerating his relentless self-aggrandizing commentary. The preliminaries are done with, Dark Knight. I hope you understand that. Oh, had I so wished, you'd have failed before you had even begun to comprehend the very first hurdle. But no, no, no. I wanted you to know the full extent of my brilliance, you understand? <laughs> to fully appreciate my superiority. But now? Well, I'm not going easy on you anymore. Another racetrack detective, but please, do not let its unique peculiarities crush your spirit. Well, shall we begin? No, Dark Knight, you are not losing what little grip you had on reality. <laughs> You've merely entered a brave new world of my design. ceiling applies 300 dead bats of pressure, detective. I invented the measurement myself. I built this course in a sewer, detective. You needed the home team advantage. <laughs> Onward, Batman! Or does the Dark Knight require a pit stop? Pit stop. Very good, Dark Knight! Again! Oh, Dark Knight! That looked like it hurt! <laughs> Did it? Is it a car? Is it a tank? Is it a, is it a, Who cares? Soon it'll be scrap. That's it. I'm cranking it up. 500 dead bats of pressure. You know, I think the wheels on that thing might actually be as thick as your skull! Feeling claustrophobic, detective? Get ready for the final lap! What a fitting end for you, detective! A stain on my floor! Detective, you're miscalculating corners, swerving through straight. It's time. One thousand dead bats of pressure. Another lap would be the end of you, Dark Knight, and I can't quite bring myself to stop the fun so soon. Your next key awaits. Oh, good. 
the fun. Do you think he's smart enough, cat? And here we go. Congratulations, Catwoman. You proved yourself able to follow simple directions. I must say, Dark Knight, that your desperate fumblings have exceeded my admittedly rather meager expectations. I am impressed. This must be how naturalists felt upon observing chimpanzees using tools for the first time. Did you know, detective, that the cleverest chimps can even obey simple instructions? It's true. Let's try it, shall we? Go to Gotham Casino for your next test, and I'll give you a banana. Riddler's trials in Kingston. He's been toying with me so far, enjoying the sense of control. I doubt he'll be playing games much longer. Heaven knows how his insanity has manifested itself this time. Oh, detective. I can't tell you how pleased I am that you're playing along with my little game. You literally cannot imagine what it's like to be so intellectually removed from the rest of the human race. I couldn't honestly say you offer me a battle of wits, Dark Knight, but your feeble resistance makes a pleasant change from the instant capitulation of everyone else. to this one. to the next one. Cabinets. Great. I love this part. Okay. Time to possibly maybe die. Well, this is not how I wanted to spend my night. Another key collected. I trust you're not giving her false hope, detective. Oh good, more fun. <laughs> Catwoman, this evening is not about you. Wait, 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 man, wait, man. Well, Dark Knight Detective, you have passed another test. I cannot help but admire the spirit with which you have thrown yourself into a task for which you are woefully under-equipped. I almost feel guilty when I contemplate what's coming, but not so guilty that I'm going to call it off. Head back to the orphanage, Detective. Another of my riddle rooms is waiting.
I'm going back to the orphanage. Selena's waiting. I can only imagine what cruel game Mr. Nigma has in store for you and Ms. Kyle. Entertainment. Eddie just lectured me on the 13 innovations that let him pack this collar with his custom-designed plastic explosive. You must be honored. At being what? Your motivation? Come on, the next puzzle room's waiting. Greetings to my costumed contestants. Your next challenge is simple. Guide an electric charge to its destination. I hope the varying amounts of pressure don't get to you. Get to you. Another one? What's Eddie's problem? Fanatic narcissism, egocentrism, and megalomania crossed with severe obsessive compulsion. Thanks. Don't mention it. Step on the pads. You are getting older. Maybe it's time to add a few extra notches to the utility belt. Over, would you? Congratulations to the dementedly dressed duo. Your key awaits. Oh, but what's this? An electrified floor? You do it. You still owe me for Arkham City. Goodness, you figured it out already. Well, you better grab that key and be on your way. <laughs> Meet the second generation of my android allies. I've built a variant specifically tailored to each of your dubious abilities. Production line. Thank me, thank me, thank me. 
You know what, Detective? I'm glad you solved this riddle. Because it takes you one step closer to the riddle that kills you. Riddle, riddle, riddle that kills you. Eddie really hates you, doesn't he? He's an ego-driven narcissist who can't let anyone else win. Gee, if only you'd met under different circumstances. His obsession's getting worse. He's going after my allies. Ally? After this, I think we should dial it back to known associate for a while. This was nothing, Dark Knight. Nothing. nothing. A new trial awaits you, Detective, by Divinity Church. And I'm waiting, too. So Joker dies, takes half the crime in Gotham with him, and I don't hear from you for months. What's that about? I've been busy. Mm-hmm. Look, I know you two are close, but you've got to get back out there. Meet new maniacs. You can't mourn him forever. He left some loose ends behind. Selena, where were you last Friday, between midnight and 1 a.m.? Giving blood. No, wait. Volunteering. Why? There was a break-in at the Museum of Gotham. A valuable gemstone was stolen. What? No. Who could do such a thing? Just put it back. Finish Eddie's test, Batman, so I can find him and show him my appreciation. Look, I'd be doing those courses if it was you in here. Probably. Look, if it was you stuck here and I happened to pass by one of Eddie's courses, I would definitely head inside. Head back out there, Batman. There's still two puzzle rooms to unlock. Great news, Bat. I was just hanging out in hell, you know, because you killed me and sent me there, and you'll never guess who I saw. That's right! Your dead girlfriend, Talia al Ghul. Now don't worry. I asked, and she's totally cool with Cat Lady having a go on the old scratching post. She also says, ow, oh, ow, oh, is this a bullet in my sternum or a broken heart? I'm headed to Divinity Church. Riddler won't give up, Alfred. His pride won't let him. You'll break his spirit, sir. I have every confidence. The unexamined life is not worth living, Detective. And I've been wondering why I let you aggravate me so. You're a cheat and a liar. A dressed-up strong man playing with expensive toys. World's greatest detective. Ha! And everyone from Gotham to Star City believes it. I cannot abide a fraud detective, a dilettante masquerading amongst his intellectual betters, stealing every last scrap of appreciation, dignity, and respect. Welcome, detective, to the drain I'm going to figuratively and quite possibly literally flush you down. The goal of this aquatic examination could not be simpler, detective. Lower the water, like so. Before that, however, it's time for a riddle. Riddle me this, detective. What do bats do when they're at home? Well done, Detective. I think you're getting the hang of it. might be lower, but you're still out of your depth.
Look at you, detective. Hanging there in that hideous machine like a particularly ugly chandelier. You know, detective, if I'd rigged that grapple point to detach, you could be dead in a moment. But where would the satisfaction be in that? You will be your own downfall, detective. I have no doubt. Another switch? When the water is almost as low as Catwoman's chances of freedom. Why don't you celebrate with my friend? destroy the robots. I did. I did, I did. It's all part of my immaculately constructed master plan. So there. Don't think I haven't been tempted by a cheap trick and a quick death, detective. No, I will beat you fairly. I will let you test yourself against me and laugh as you fall short. My equations predict. Predict. Careful on your way out. You know, the line between perfectly designed riddle and unfair death trap really comes down to user error. play a different game. This one's getting old. Good luck, Catwoman. Good luck. Given Batman's limited intelligence, I'm afraid you're going to need it. Here's hoping Eddie hasn't started cheating. And they say black cats are bad luck. Another key, well done. D -d -d of course, you'll lose all nine lives in an instant should I push this detonator. Another door unlocked. What a surprise. <laughs> Catwoman, this evening is not about you. Wait, 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 man, wait. For been the smartest man in the room, detective, forced to endure the suspicions and mockery of those whose meager mental faculties prohibited them from appreciating that fact. And then you appear in Gotham, dressing up your cognitive capabilities, marginally superior as they are to that of the average hoodlum, in the guise of a crusading hero. 
And oh, how the people swooned. To the orphanage, hero. It's time to rejoin Catwoman for another trial. Selena's still trapped at the orphanage. Together, we'll get her out. I guess Arkham Knight was just like all the other losers who tried to beat the bat. I'd get you out of here. I know. It's just... <sighs> nothing. Let's get to the next room, okay? Before my head explodes. Well, hello again to my favorite comedy double act. Double, double. I'd just like to say what a novelty it's been constructing riddle chambers for two half-wits instead of one. Why, that's practically a whole wit between you. <laughs> Dark Knight, when you failed your feline friend and are done mourning over her headless corpse, headless corpse. perhaps we'll do this again with, uh, Robin? <laughs> or maybe that prodigal son of yours over in Bloodhaven. Blood, blood, blood. Can you get up there? The ceiling? Easy. Riddle me this. Can a maze still amaze if it doesn't have walls? Catwoman, good. That pain is what stupidity feels like. Stupidity feels like. Oh, Eddie, you're going to feel very, very stupid when I catch up with you. You know, I had to disable a security system like this when I robbed Queen Industries. Never mind. Halfway there. Now for a final twist. 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 Nearly there, Selena. Done on this side. Okay, done over here. Congratulations, and now your reward robot.
Seriously, Eddie, how much longer is this going to take? Well, how clever the pair of you must feel. How smug. Well, I hate to intrude upon this miserable little moment of victory, but I wanted you to be aware you're very unlikely to see one another again. Catwoman, the Batman will fail you, because waiting for him beneath Ronala Ferry Terminal is my greatest trial. Batman, are we... Don't let what Riddler said get to you. Eddie is an idiot, but he's an idiot who built a series of underground death traps across the city. And? And, I just wanted to say, be safe. This is definitely your mess, and I appreciate you cleaning it up. But just be careful while you do it, okay? Eddie sounded pretty pissed. Make sure that last test isn't just a trap. Be careful in the last test, okay? This is your chance with Catwoman, Batsy. She's vulnerable, trapped in an abandoned orphanage. That sure spells romance to me. Speaking of which, I went back to the afterlife to check on Talia. And, uh, well, we got to talking about how you basically murdered us both. She started crying, so I went to comfort her, and well, before I knew it, one thing led to another, and, <laughs> uh, you know... Thing is, Tally and I just want you to be happy. I tell the little pussycat how you feel while you still can, Batsy. Cause when I take over your body and lock you away in a tiny little corner of your mind, I'll kill her first. Ranala Ferry Terminal. Okay, Riddler. This game ends now. This is it, Dark Knight. We're done. done. Well, you're done for, at least. I must admit that I'm feeling quite charitable at the moment of my triumph. So, I will give you a choice. Rather than carry on towards your humiliation and death, I will simply let you drive away in return for a signed statement testifying towards my superior intelligence and conceding that I have utterly checkmated you. Oh, uh, the cat will remain a hostage, of course. A symbol of your failure. going to attempt it. Very well. But this is my finest work, Detective. My masterpiece. My Nigma Resistance. So, let us take that inexplicably life-sized children's toy for its final drive. This is it, Dark Knight. Your Tudoberg, your Bay of Pigs, your ultimate defeat. That's it, Detective. Drive faster, drive headlong into defeat. Behold your doom. What? It's impossible! Impossible! That cannot be! You should have fallen to your death. I calculated the curvature precisely! I've got the equations right here! I, 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 I don't understand. 
How are you still alive? Oh, of course. You got lucky, didn't you? It was luck. Luck! The kindly lifeguard of the idiot. I can hardly factor luck into my equations now, can I? I'm not a homeopath. Almost there. Ready to die, my dear? And here we go. Oh, that's it. No more. Congratulations, Catwoman. You are now free. Free to take my final exam. <laughs> to take my final exam. Eddie, I didn't know you'd started cheating. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I dissemble. I artfully obfuscate. But I do not cheat. As you and Batman will discover when you attempt my final riddle room. Riddle room. room. <laughs> Catwoman, Cat this evening is not about you. Wait, 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 wait. Man, man, wait for man. Do you have a photographic memory, detective? Because I do. I do. I can summon your sneering features at will. That is when they don't burst unbidden into my brain. I have perfect recall, too. I can remember every time you've hurt me. Sometimes I wake up, Dark Knight, to the feel of your hands around my neck, your carbon fiber-coated fists smashing into my solar plexus. How dare you brutalize me? Me! Your intellectual superior. You're better. Me, Edward Nigma, the Riddler, and the world's greatest everything. You're a thug, detective. A bullying emblem of the arrogant notion that might makes right. Come back to the orphanage, where I will end you and the unjust things you stand for. Now's my chance to free Selena from the orphanage. This sick game has gone on long enough. Agreed, sir. Best of luck. It doesn't take much. 
watch to tame a cat. Make them wear this, and then call the bat. How have you been? Perfect. Eddie hasn't said a word since you left that last course. Do you ever rub people the right way? They never ask nicely. So how's Robin? Robin's fine. Is he allowed out unchaperoned yet? Or does Daddy still keep a close eye? He's more than capable. I bet he is. This one's more of a fully grown wonder, if you know what I mean. I don't. Come on, you. Lighten up. We're almost done here. What's it like out there? It's bad. You could just leave, you know. You can't play hero forever. I can try. You can. But there's only one place your little martyr fantasy is headed. Huh. Final exam. Cute. Shall we? This is it. One last hoop to jump through. Then I'm free to rob Gotham blind. I mean, you know, make sure everyone got out. I'll check the art galleries first. Meet the Riddle Square, a puzzle which draws influence from both late 20th century puzzle cubes and mid 15th century torture devices. Torture devices. If Eddie wanted us to play a game of life-size chess, he could have left us more pieces. I don't think that was the idea. Oh good, he doesn't want us to go in. Guess I'll be heading home then, Eddie? There'll be a way in. Congratulations. Now let's cut to the best part. Selena, watch out. Get ready. You get used to it. Ah, beginner's luck. Let's intensify proceedings. Intensify proceedings.
Still not a riddle, Eddie. You just haven't figured it out yet. This is it. This is the end. end. The final riddle. second to compose myself. You can leave any time. I knew that. I just like dodging the saw blade. Would you do the honors? <sighs> you know what the worst thing about this was? It looked cheap. Well, Hanson, what are we waiting for? So is it just Central Gotham that's evacuated? Or are the mansions empty too? Scarecrow threatened the entire city, Selina. And it's such a tragedy. You go save the day and I'll make sure Bruce Wayne locked his doors. Good luck with that. Dark Knight, this is an intellectual victory above all. Don't feel left out! Can you keep up? Let's mix things up! You think me outwitted? Prepare to be outbeaten! from this equation. Enough! This is beneath me. You are beneath me. You want to finish this detective? Then you must earn the privilege. Solve every last riddle in this city and I'll fight you, Batman. But not a moment before. Or we could just leave you down there, Eddie. Come on, Batman. This cat wants to prowl. I've been cooped up all night, handsome. We're leaving.
Fresh air, freedom, and darkness. Perfect. How shall we celebrate? I know a couple of poor, defenseless museums. But then again, I also know a couple of hotels. Tonight's not over yet. There's more work to be done. Of course there is. You do know how to kill the mood. <laughs> do you ever take the night off? Do you ever take the suit off? Not on nights like this, Selena. It's what I do. Fine. I guess I'll hit an art gallery or two while the big bad bat's distracted. You're not going to thank me? Why? It's what you do. You solved them all. Well, well, well. What a smart little detective you turned out to be. Turned out to be. My one mistake has always been very slightly overestimating just how stupid you are. Overestimating. Come back to the orphanage, detective. And I'll deconstruct you like a flimsy philosophical position. Philosophical position. Just me and you, Nigma. Time to finish this. This ain't Batman's turf no more. You better get used to it. Well, Dark Knight, it seems you have earned the right to die at my mechanical hands. <laughs> but let us be clear, we do not meet as equals. In fact, you literally have not a hope of victory. Oh, I wish I could say that I have found this one-sided rivalry of ours intellectually stimulating, but in truth, <sighs> I grew bored of you long ago. Killing you here will finally liberate me to engage in more edifying pursuits. Goodbye, Detective. You will be neither missed nor remembered. Thank you, Batman, for teaching me the effectiveness of violence tonight! Like you're cheating to me. No! What are you doing here? This is not your fight, cat! Eddie, sweetie, you invited me, remember? And then you tied me to a chair. You didn't have to come. And you act like I'm ungrateful. Hmm, which color do you prefer? How did you do it? How did you solve them all?
Incredible. Keep them coming. You think you're smarter than me? This color suits you better. You cheated! I will forcibly extract a confession. Selena, for the daring last-minute rescue. It was very heroic. It was under control. <laughs> sure it was. Now be a good damsel and bestow a kiss on your gallant hero. Play nice. You're not playing at all. No, I'm not. Not anymore. And what's that supposed to mean? It means this is the end, Selena. It means we can't. I can. I will see you again, right? No one will. Gotham needs something more, something worse to defend her. She needs a new myth, a legend more powerful than I can be right now. A legend that can only rise from the ashes of the Batman. Some things you can't do alone, Bruce. And some things you have to. Call if you need me. I won't. I know. I just wanted to say it.
am I? What's happening to me? You're a smart man, Edward. I'm sure you'll figure it out. No, no, no. You cheated. Catwoman cheated. She stole my victory from me. A fight I couldn't win? That doesn't even fit your definition of playing fair. It was fair! If you weren't able to bypass the robot's multi-layer encryption, decipher their unique operating system, and reprogram them mid-battle, that doesn't mean you get to call in assistance. You need help, Enigma. I never need help with anything! Out you go, Nigma. Ha! I could have brought me here twice as quickly. Well, riddle me this. Was green proud and ass kicked all over? How exceedingly droll. I won't be needing a lawyer, you jumped up security guard. I will represent myself. You forget, you bothersome bat. Every time you overcome my puzzles, I learn that little bit more about you. Soon enough, there will be a riddle that leaves you Your dead. Your intellect is no bad. Good for you, bat! Eddie doesn't need psychiatric help. No, no, no! Beat him up! Lock him up. Your That's faith the in best medicine. superstition is as misplaced as your desire to emulate Gotham's overrated defender. You outdated 11th century anachronism. Your riddles are a cruel waste of time, just like Gotham's courts. How nice to see you, Dent. Still relying on that coin to make decisions, rather than faultless logic and cognitive prowess? You are never going to win, Nigma. Tut tut, Batman. In your incessant quest for justice, you've just deprived this city of its one true genius. I'm sure we'll cope. Cope, yes but also regress. My puzzles are the whetstone with which to sharpen your intellect. <sighs> Keep me in here and let your mind turn to mush. It will be all the easier when we reconvene. So be honest, Bats. You don't have to solve Eddie's riddles, do you? You just like to make him cry. <laughs> Locked in here, surrounded by inferior minds. I can almost feel them sucking the intelligence out of me. You must be so pleased with yourself. I expect that cowl-clad cranium is fit to burst. Don't Captain worry, Batman. Fire. I will come back from this. Uh, you no see, I'm blessed with the capacity for self-improvement. So Sadly, understand. something you lack. It would be nice if your intellect could move beyond its bestial beginnings, but alas, taking the bat out of the cave is far easier than taking the cave out of the bat. Please cease with these mindless inanities. It is beneath my brilliance to be cooped up with one so clearly insane. Pig feels sick. <sighs> no Locked riddles. in here, surrounded no. by inferior minds. No tricks. I can almost feel them <laughs> sucking the intelligence out of me. I heard those statues are pretty rare. Well, they're easy to find. It's collecting them that's the problem. One giant ass robot suit thing built by Edward Nigma, aka the Riddler. Poor Eddie. He builds a custom designed Batman killing machine and still gets his ass handed to him. Not sure if this is more about Batman or Eddie.